thing that I will demonstrate to you is the back stitch. Okay, so let's look at this. Remember, we have the running stitch done. Now let's go to the back stitch. First thing to do is to fold the edge of your cloth. This first. And then second fold that way, okay? And then you need to secure this side. Insert, insert the needle, okay? There. Then insert again. Then you make a loop, alright, then pull, now if you're done, let's now have the back stitch, so just because it's called the back stitch, it's really a back stitch because we will start not this one that not like this not facing you um the cloth this time will be doing like this okay something to do with going backwards so instead of going this way forward this is now how it's done it's going backward so you're going to insert the ne needle here and then insert it forward like this and then pull you need to look at closely look closely how it's being done then you need to Sometimes you need, you need to um, fold the cloth also and let it straighten and then place the needle here, insert it this way and then insert it to the last point here, this one, okay. And then you need to get the needle up, pull it up. See, it's a back stitch again. Insert the needle, not, not so far, okay not so far from this point don't I mean do not do not insert it here that's too far already okay. we need to insert it a little closer on the next point or the point that we had okay And from time to time, you need to check the thread so that it will not get tangled. Mm. Again, insert. I said do not be too far. Do not insert it that way. That's too far, okay? Insert it in a, in a way that it's more or less close or closer to this point here and after doing that pull then you check the thread because sometimes you know the thread gets tangled and that will be a problem. You need to 
cut the thread again and do it again and again okay so that's it again insert it here near the point this one the last point okay like that did you see that and you need to pull that's the back stitch you need okay I need to fold this part here so that I can work really good now the back stitch is better secured than the running stitch this stitch is better than the running stitch running stitch is only for guide most of the time but this one is already for you know if you want if you want um, better stitches or stronger stitches or you know you don't want your clothes to be um, destroyed or whatever so you need to make sure that your stitches are really secured but the running stitch is just a guide stitch okay, this one is the true the, the better one and this is the one that will appear at the back okay one I'm just I'm just using uh, another another color of the cloth I mean the the um, thread but actually in reality you must have the same color the thread should also be the same color with the cloth but since I am demonstrating to you I'm making use of another color of the thread so that you can see okay, there you go Okay, up to that point there okay so you need to repeat this over and over until such time you ended up here there. okay did you get that Pull. Right. now since my thread is already too short I have to end this here okay so how will I end insert now when you insert it will be like this huh? just insert and then pull and then get inside this very very small circle or loop insert your needle and then insert your needle and then pull so that is how we're going to end of course you have to get your scissors and cut it in a way not this way but should be cut it really short and fine that's what you call the running stitch see the difference between the first stitch that we we have uh, done and this one here what's the difference between the two and what do you think? Which one is a better stitch or stronger stitch? The running or the back stitch? Hmm? Okay. So, but both stitches are really helpful. Okay. So, the next step that I'm going to demonstrate will be 
a little bit difficult, but with more practice, you can make it.